Hey, my friends. Most of you know me. My name is Salim Talili. But for the people that don't know me, it's a real pleasure to start to get to know you. I'm a high school teacher, and when I'm not teaching, I'm playing with my kids, Adam and Ryan. And right now, I'm documenting my journey into this sort of carnivorous lifestyle. I say carnivorous because I'm not the biggest fan of strict labels. Uh, don't really think that anyone should try and get too deep into any one way of living or one ideology or one mode of being. So this is week 10 of documenting my carnivorous journey, but this week I really wanted to reflect on a longer journey that I've been going on. All of my adult life I've struggled with obesity. Uh, not something I'm proud of discussing, but I think it's worth sharing because, you know, I know lots of other people are struggling with these issues. Uh, I've gone up and down over the decades, uh, cycled at least on and off 100 pounds four or five times as far as I can recall. Uh, I peaked sometime around 2016 or so at close to 400 pounds. Um, yeah, it's not easy to look at those pictures. Uh, there's a part of me that honestly really wants to delete those photos uh, and make sure that I never see them again. But I know that there's lessons in there and there's value in those images. And, you know, if I can share them and maybe they might help someone else in some way. Having my son, Adam, you know, in 2014 really forced me to focus on trying to lose weight. I didn't want to have a heart attack and leave him without a father as he was growing up. So he really motivated me to, to change, what I was, change what I was doing. So I through the proverbial kitchen sink at this problem. I got several trainers to help me learn how my body worked and how to use it. Each of these trainers helped me in different aspects of my life and things that I didn't know or just wasn't very good at. I got one trainer named Kurt Wiedner who taught me how to lift heavy things. And he also really taught me what it means to be meticulous about tracking macronutrients. So shout out to Kurt at team animal. I also got a boxing coach uh, who really taught me how to develop my cardiovascular capacity. Big shout out to Rodney at Hurricane Fitness. And in the last couple of years, I began doing gymnastic strength training to learn how to actually use my body and learn how to work with my frame. Big shout out to Paul Watson and Evan at Transform Fitness. For about two years, I really didn't eat any carbohydrates. <laughs> Carbs are like that crazy girlfriend that makes you feel absolutely amazing, but, you know, she'll also burn your car and skin your pet rabbit if you let her. Whew. I managed to drop down to about 225, I think it was my best weight. And I was thrilled, it was wonderful. Uh, I was doing Spartan races and uh, feeling phenomenal. Now I'm really trying to focus on doing even better than I did when I got down to 225 and taking my health and physique to the next level. Right now one of the key strategies is intermittent fasting. I'm eating in a really small window, but basically from about 5 to 9 p.m. is when I eat. I'm also focusing on animal-based foods, prioritizing meat, eggs, and dairy. And I'm carving out time to work out as I can. Uh, this is a real struggle. Honestly, this is right now the biggest struggle with as a parent with two little kids. But I'm finding time here and there. And overall, these strategies seem to be working. Uh, as of this morning, I weighed in at 245.2 .2, which is about half a pound better than I was last Friday when I was at 245.8.
you know, I'll take half a pound of difference in a week. Uh, I am, unlike previous times, I'm not trying to belt this out doing a 90-day sprint. I'm really hoping that if I can give myself two years, that with half a pound to a pound a week, that I can create a phenomenal change in me. And not only that, I'll have developed the habit life. The other thing that I'm doing is trying to find ways to cook that will make food that is tasty and things that my kids will actually eat. So this past week, uh, I made chicken nuggets uh, using chicken thighs and pork rinds, some of them with panko, but some of them with pork rinds. You know, one of the benefits of that is that I was able to take the skin of the chicken thighs and uh, render them out and then just get these amazing uh, chicken chicharrones, which really just was, uh, I did not want to share that with my wife, but I did because I'm, you know, a good husband. One of the other highlights, I uh, went to our one of our local diners, and for some reason they were serving ribs and eggs brunch. Uh, that was simply perfection. Uh, it was wound up being two meals for me, and uh, ribs for breakfast is definitely a game changer. Uh, I don't know why I'd only been eating ribs at lunch and dinner like a sucker. Uh, that has definitely changed. I guess in, within the, the trinity, you know, uh, time, health, and taste, I think you can probably get two. You can get something that is tasty and convenient, but it's probably not healthy. You can get something that is healthy and convenient, but it's not tasty. And you can get something that is tasty and healthy, but it's not convenient. So, you know, we all have to pick our poisons. So that's where I am this week, and I hope that this has been of value to you. You know, I, I hate this whole like asking people to subscribe thing, uh, but I do think that maybe my perspective will be of value to other people. So I'd love it if you shared or commented or did something. I'd love to have a discussion with people because I know there are a lot of you who know a whole lot more about these things than I do. And so it would be great to be able to continue this discussion. Thanks a lot, and I will see you next week.